Hey guys, welcome back to Masochist Gaming. We are going to continue Tears of the Kingdom. Hopefully not die. I moved my cam and everything so that you guys can see the Majora's Mask light up a little better. Um, so hopefully I don't block it too much. Um, I'm also hoping that the sound in-game is fine because it doesn't look like it picks up half of it. So... Other than, like, when Link is shouting randomly or dying, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm, that cave, where was it again? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tulin to save the village. Everyone in the village is, village is happy to stretch their wings again without them icing over, so thanks for that. You, you didn't want to, like, shout freeze? You know? And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility, too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. Uh. I saw one just the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock wreathed in green light inside it. Just like the one beneath the general store. Just where did I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. What white bird? What white bird? Are you talking about the one that's over in the mountain? Yeah, there were mushrooms in it and a pond with fish. It would have been the perfect place to stock up on supplies. All I remember is that I found it while looking for that white bird. Ah. It was the white bird. Is that that one that's right over in the Hebrew Mountains? Yeah, have you ever looked up at the peak of the spire here in Rideau Village? Yes, yes I have. Oh. That bit jutting out sideways looks kind of like a bird's perch, right? We call it Va Mado's perch. Well, no shiznit. Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. That day, I was getting some sun up on the perch, same as always, just when the day was breaking, just when the dawn was breaking. Right about then, I looked to the west and saw a white bird resting atop the long shadow of the perch. It was weird for a bird to rest on a shadow, right? I was curious, so I went to go have a look where I saw the bird. Thing is, I couldn't find the white bird again after that. Instead, I found a cave entrance. It's kind of like the white bird that led me to that cave. I don't know why, but I can remember all of that so clearly, but not where the cave was. Over there? No, I don't think that was it. Anything that stood out? I was lucky to find it. I don't think the area around the entrance was anything special or memorable. But it was right next to a resting white bird. That much I do remember. Deep inside, I could make out a rock wreathed in green light, like the one that's beneath the general store now. Ugh, if I could just remember where I found it, we would have one more place to search for food. Some help you are. I wonder if that... Let's go into the adventure log. Free glowing cave fish, white birds, guidance. I like how they do shrine quests. I like how they separated the quests, but I don't like how they have it to where um, not all the finished quests are together. Gonna make new arrows. So we need to go up here. Means I need to find a spot that I can. To ascend on. Alright, maybe I need to climb up here first. Up we go! Come on, don't fall. Up. Oh, hey, I said don't fall, not fall. Part of that did you not understand? Okay. Fine. I'll climb all the way back up. Perhaps. Ah! Right into the side. I went into the armpit of the mountain. Came out in some bushes. Got another armpit we can go into? Ah, right there. 
How's everybody's day? How you guys doing? Oh dang, that took me all the way up. Ah, oh, bask in that sunlight. All right, now we gotta look for a white bird. I don't see a white bird. Pretty much all I see is a stupid Korok right here. All right, white bird, white bird. If I were to go to one of the, that's not a bird, but what is that? There's something over there. I wonder what that is. Wait, white bird. Maybe she meant something up there. Not a bird. It is pretty cool though. Got like a hang line all the way down. I feel like this is one we've been to before in Breath of the Wild. Because there wasn't anything special around it, it's just a big white bird. That's a big white tree. Does that count? That looks like bunny ears. It looks like a bird. There's the head. And the tail feathers in the body. Hmm. Big white bird. Anybody see a bird? But maybe that. That kind of looks like the tail and then wing. Wing. And I think over there was one of those ones. Oh, wait. Or it's that right there. Oh, no. How do I summon little dude? He's not dismissed. Oh, no, that's the Korok. Those are clouds, those aren't big white birds. How do I summon the little dude so I can go further? That's the duck. My weapon. Nope. Maybe I can make it all the way over there? I don't think I can. Not like this, at least. I kind of also want to go to the Goron place, since we did the Rito. I want to go to the Goron place so that I can get the um, armor to be able to... Val was granted you the power to summon his avatar. Well, where were you when I needed you, huh? Up we go! That's 
got to be that big white bird that they were talking about. I also kind of want to land over there because I want to see what's on that rock. Ooh, look at that big bad boy. See that? I don't think I have enough to fight that one. Might have to land there. Oh, what is that three-headed thing? Oh, I don't want to land down there, but I'm going to have to. Hold on. I know I have some stamina stuff. I don't want to know what that thing is. I don't. I really don't. Thought that I need to go to, though. I think the cave is just down there. Ugh. Do we fight it? Do I dare? I still didn't aim high enough. Maybe I should aim for the tail. I don't think this iceberg's gonna do much to it. Alright, I'm gonna go down there and fight it. It's a frost gliok. I don't know what that is. But I don't think I have enough of anything that's hot to be able to fight that. My stuff doesn't look like it's doing too much to it either. Oh crap. I about died. Now I'm about to die again. <laughs> What in the crap are you? Oh, it throws me again. Okay. Fighting that thing is a no. Not until I get something a little stronger. Well, Rar to you too. Thanks for stopping in. How's it going? Enhancing armor. Note to self. Whoa, why did it start me back over here? Run! Run! For my life! Doing alright? Well, at least you're doing alright! Me, on the other hand, I am running for my life. Because if I can't get away from that thing, I am not gonna make it. The heck is that? There was another one on one of the bridges, too. Alright. I'm gonna say that there's gotta be some sort of shrine somewhere around here. I should have just gone with, um... Regional Phenomena. Pearl suggested. Oh yeah, that's right. Bubble gems, call from the depths. Where's that other one that I had? Oh yeah, the white bird's guidance right here. Can't seem to recall the location of a cave she found a while back. When you asked what she remember about it, she said that she saw a white bird sitting atop the shadow of Bamado's perch. At early morning, when she tried to go after it, the bird was gone, and its place was the entrance to the cave. I 
did photograph a choo-choo. Could go do that really quick. Look, it shows you where I died. That. Oh, it's a great fairy fountain. That's right, they put the great fairy fountains on my map. That, all the way down here. Oh, it's a, it's a cave. Right. Hopefully I can keep these rupees, or not rupees, uh, the rubies and the sapphires and whatnot. Hopefully I can keep those well enough in stock to be able to put them on my shield. That way when I'm going through like the hot and the cold areas, I can put one on my shield to be able to keep me nice and warm or nice and cold. Don't need those on right now. Stealth tights. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't mess with my inventory after that. Four, four. I thought I had something that was five. The shirt. Did I not? Oh, also, if you put this on when you have like Tulin and whatnot follow you, if you put this on, Tulin will also put one on. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, that was what was five. Okay. Grand four. So if I do this one, it's attack up. But I don't know if that's attack up, you have the whole set, or if it's attack up now. Oh, a golden apple. I got the golden apple. Die shop. Greetings and salutations. Did you bring me some reference material for a choo choo pattern? I have your reference for her. Oh, so that's a choo choo. I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. Pattern it up, man. All tone. With your help, I've made a very pretty pattern. You can have the fabric I worked on as thanks. A fabric bearing a choo-choo design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Hey. I knew I'd get a different result with some quality reference. I bet you I could make other patterns, too. In fact, I made a list of patterns I'd like to die out. When you get your hands on anything I might use as a reference, come in and show, t show it to me. If I have the reference, I can make an original pattern for you to walk out the door with. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what we can do together. What was his list? Uh, tell me more. Oh no, he's just talking about ingredients. Let me see the paraglider. I have a new reference. And you thought this was the part where I'd show you... I'd have you show me a reference. Well, when you do find some kind of reference that sparks an idea, come over and show me first thing. <laughs> You're supposed to show me your list. Hey. Hey. Mirror of Twilight fabric, which is the one I'm using. King of Red Lions, Princess Twilight, Princess of Twilight fabric. I think this one's Zelda's fabric, and then this one's Midna's. Then you got the Demon King fabric, which I think I got from one of the amiibos for, um, like, Wind Waker. I gotta do Horse, Chicken, Elden Ostrich, Rizzle Maw Bear, Aracuda, Stalnox, Lionel, Glee, Glee, Gleeok? I should have taken a picture of that thing that killed me. I should have done a selfie. You're like, hold on, don't shoot me yet. Let me take a selfie. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that thing took a lot of my stuff. 
Like, it didn't save right before I used that... Before I died or before I used that stuff. It saved right there. Does she have anything else worthwhile? Just looks like she has the same stuff she had last time. What else you got? You gonna make me wear a dress, too? Ah, oh, that's such a dashing hood that it seems a shame not to wear it up. If you like, I could give your outfit that personal CC touch. Uh, sure. You gonna put something weird like a mushroom on my hood? I don't know if I like my hood up or if I like my hood down. What do you guys like? Do you like the hood up or down? They have a Bokoblin mask. See, I go to see if I find... It says show me. But then if I pick I came to sell, then it shows her everything that I have. Which I don't want to sell my clothing. Sell all my meats! <laughs> my skewer, wow. Oh yeah, that's right. I used the uh, weird stuff for that. Sell this melty no. cheesy bread. You want some food? No. How about some dubious food? You want some dubious food? Uh -huh. She wants the dubious food. My son actually made some weird kind of rock food. I don't know how he did it, but his food literally just says, like, rock food. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, so we need this. And we need some cheese. I don't have any more cheese. And I don't know if I have any more of these. Doesn't look like I have any in inventory. Uh... And I don't think I need rice. I think it was wheat that I needed. But I don't think this guy has wheat. He does have fortified pumpkins, though, which are really good for defense. So if I were to go fight that thingy again, you know, then maybe I'll be a little more defensed up. Okay. Uh, I want to say it was for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to say it was rice. She's what? Why? Why? At least I'm in town. I could get attacked by the thing I just killed being in town. Don't need a pot lid. We'll wait until this blood moon passes. When the glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to. So I don't mind that version of the Blood Moon, it's just that the other version of the Blood Moon um, got annoying after like 8 billion times of it playing. And for some reason, I seem to have all the luck with the Blood Moon in this game. Do I not have Flint? I don't have Flint. What else can I use to light this on fire with? Okay. Oh, I just wasted an arrow. I have a, a weapon for this. 
Not that one. There you are. There. Now let's see. It was cheese. Beet. It was cheese, wheat, and milk. No. It's wheat, cheese, and potatoes. I made a tomato pizza. Classy pizza. All right, let's see. Um, that's right, I wanted to go to the Goron place. Where is the Goron place? What is that little glowy thing? Oh, it's a device dispenser. I go to the device dispenser if it'll give me whatever that question mark one is. see my horse is all the way over here there's a great fairy over there too there's a stable over here oh the woodland stable is the one I need to go to um that's right delish yes my tomato pizza is delicious delicioso I think the reason I originally came to the woodland stable... Okay, now I can show you now that he's back. So, there's the little Tulin guy, right? So, if I put that on, he puts one on too. But it only works for the avatar who's with you if you're wearing their mask. So, like, if you're wearing a... If you have the Goron with you and you're wearing a Goron mask, it, um... turns into the Goron. Like, the... Um, Varudanya, I think is what it's called. I think I watched somebody do this one the other day. For the Great Fairy. Kind of seems like he goes away whenever you get close to villages. Ah. You're a night owl, I see. Welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride? Mm. Obviously, I've been to this one. Wait, I opened that, didn't I? Wasn't that the one that was right up on the hill? Dude went to the woodland stable. Annie, you're back? I was waiting and waiting and just shut my eyes for a moment. Oh, you again. I thought you were my boyfriend. My boyfriend went to go buy some of the fire-resistant clothes available in Goron City, but he hasn't come back yet. If he hadn't gotten tangled up with those Gorons, with the strangely shaped rocks, I would be with him right now. If you're going to Goron City, then you should be very careful. Oh. Uh. Wow. Wow. What do you got? What you selling? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like his his interactions. I think we should try to make it to Goron City so I can get that um fire resistant clothing. That way I can um go see if I can find Korok Forest because the last time I tried to go and find Korok Forest, I nearly burned myself to death. Wow! Ooh, a hardy lizard. Be that lizard. Wow. Hey. Some people think bugs hey. are scary, but I love them. The 
crawl on my face all creepy-like. I mean, what? <laughs> the dull and drab woodland stable route. Or the red-hot foothill stable route. Red-hot. What? Hmm. I was finally nodding off. What is it? You want to know what it means to be red-hot? Hmm. So a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force, nonstop red hot lava. But now the lava's all cooled down and hardened into a new road that's super easily walkable. Mm. And there's nothing red hot about easily walkable. Now, on the other hand, the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable, that's an old, dangerous road, absolutely crawling with monsters. If you're looking for red hot, that's where to find it. The thing is, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat, so that makes my decision more complicated. Look, it takes sleep to burn so bright, so will you let me recharge for a bit? Look. What I found? Rupees! Oh, he only dropped one. What nonsense is this? That was some nonsense. But shenanigans at its finest. Let's see. I could have sworn the woodland stable was... No, maybe I already did the woodland stable. Because wasn't that the one where the great fairy was just up the hill? Yeah, I remember that. She was just up the hill and I had to take the musicians to her. Land in the sky. What are you dreaming about? When I grow up, I'm going for sure. Don't they normally have, like, a thing on the wall over here? Ah, mm. uh, Link, that's... Ah, uh, Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? Perhaps. It doesn't have a piece of paper on it now. Oh. The Stable Association has decided we stable owners should display pictures on our walls for the enjoyments of our guests. They advise us to start by hanging up frames. Yep, you'll find frames like this one here on stable walls across yeah. the land. It's a big picture frame, and now all I need is the perfect painting to put inside it. There are these famous hot springs near Gorn City, north of here, so maybe a painting of the springs would be nice. But I don't know, a picture of hot water? That wouldn't be very interesting to look at, would it? What I really like to do is hang a picture of a Goron soaking in the hot springs. Now that would be compelling. But when will I have time to head over there and paint up a picture? Never. That's when. Uh. I thought he didn't have eyes there for a second. Because I thought those that his eyes were his eyebrows. What I need is a picture of some sort. One that captures the scenery. I could use it for reference and paint up a copy easy. Nice. I think we'll do that. That way we get up to the Goron Mountains. And... Yeah. Okay, so... I haven't done that one yet. I could essentially just head up this way. I need my horse. I could essentially head up that way and go take out that tower and go to the Goron place meantime. Ooh. Give me my horse. I need Ona. Ooh. There's supposed to be some way where you can take out the rest of your horses other than like how I have Blue. Ooh. There's supposed to be a way to take out the other horses um... Mm -hmm. In the game. Um, from Breath of the Wild. There you are. I was like, wait, where's my horse? <laughs> Looks like there's supposed to be a shrine. Right over there. Or at least maybe I put one over there? No, that was for me marking the Great Fairy. Yeah. Should just let my horse do the walking. Huh. Huh. A mushroom. No need that one. Huh. Sorry. Those. Yeah. Wait, what are you? My poor teeth. Mm -hmm. 
What is it? Are you trying to ask me out to that restaurant? Well, I'm afraid you picked the wrong vi, not to mention the wrong restaurant. The food there might make the Goron swoon, but I can't manage a single bite of those roasts. Huh. 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 What restaurant they were talking about, but yeah, I know. Uh, do I keep going up the road, or do I go off to the side? Nope. Let's go off to the side. There's some bokoblins over there. A lizard! We missed the lizard. My life is a bokoblin, part one. Eh, let's just go over there and fight him. We'll use the pokey stick. That one looks like he's got a giant rock. Ow. Take the one out with a big rock first. There we go. Problem solved. A boulder hammer. What's this? Armor shard shield. Oh, that kind of looks like a turtle shell. Hold on. That's pretty cool looking. I know I should probably keep that Zonai one to put some stuff on it, but I don't wanna. Cobble crusher? I don't need a cobble crusher. Oh, he had another one of those shields, too. Alright. Let's go over to this. Over here. Let's fly over here so that I can get up without wasting too much stamina. Somebody's playing Skyrim. <laughs> oh, I am too impatient to climb all these rocks. I am also, by the way, wearing a um, Majora's Mask shirt. I found online. I don't remember where I found it, though. It had a bunch of different Zelda shirts on it, but it was super cool. I thought there was a dragon there for a second, and it's just like all that nasty stuff spewing out. Elden Cannon. What did you do this time? Yeah. You meet again. Good morning. Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. A big old chunk of ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. Ah. Knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. It means that the hole in the top is open, and that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck, too. Oh. Let's see, maybe if you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way to get inside, we're kind of stuck. So do I need to put the thing on top again? No, it's not going to want me to put the thing back on. So, there's got to be a way to get in here, which means there's a cave. Somewhere. Huh. F that rock.
What is that? Why is there a bone? What? What is this? Why is that a thing? No, I don't want to grab it. I want to fuse it. Spiny bone shield? I don't know what that does, but okay. That was kind of interesting. Okay, so how do we get in there? Wait, do we need to climb to the top of it? And then just drop in there, or what? Wiggle. Can I climb to the top of that? Maybe. This be like old school, you know? We have to try to climb to the top of the tower. I think he told me about that being off of there for a reason. Okay. My stamina stuff. Climb all day. I can climb all night. Or some work. I could essentially just go get one of those um, things that are falling down from the sky and reverse it back up so that I can fly into it, but I like doing things the hard way. I wouldn't be a masochistic gamer if I weren't. Free climbing. Yeah, instead of free falling. Yeah. Impatience. Hey. Down the tube. Oh, that made me nauseous. Look, I opened your door. Oh, I was right. Using the terminal did open the door. Thank you. That was a big help. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. Sploosh. Up we go. There's something right there. The big bone on my shield. And another one bites dust. Ah, map updated. There's a big old hole in Death Mountain. Oh, there's another one of those things to make the tear fall. Ah, 
I don't have the stamina needed for this. No. You're throwing rocks at me, bro? Sit your butt down. I'll send you on a ride. Oh, there's another one. Hey, buddy. Get on my ride. No. Oh, you're not dead yet. That one just needs to turn the other way, and then I can take it up there. Couldn't I do these things before? I should put the ultra hand on it. And get my hands on that. Stacked. Don't forget your Sunday lions. Very nice to pick flowers. We love flowers. They're very pretty. Another. <laughs> more stacked. Should we make it go faster? Own a knight sword? I don't need that. I kind of want to go to that one over there, but I also don't. I don't want to know it's down here. Maybe that just straight up falls. What is that, though? Hot. Uh, oh, maybe that's a... Yeah, ha, ha. Yeah. You found me! But I can't use any of your seeds, and I almost have 30 of them! I feel like... I need to put those inside of that and hook it to the other one. What I mean? Get on there the right way. What are we doing? here. You're gonna hit me with a stick. Let me hit you with my stick. Let me introduce you to Stabby. Down here. Woo! I almost didn't make that. That would have sucked. Now that we're here, what do we do? Well, here? Oh, snap. Jumped over the wrong spot. Okay. 
<laughs> but I picked up his big stick. I need an actual sword for this. I want the big one. Demelish rooms are nice. They don't give you very much stamina, though. Oh, hey. I'm, like, burning everything around me. Flame emitter shield. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. Although, that's one of those shields that can actually burn. Too bad I'm not in that other area. Or if there's a flame emitter over here somewhere. In a nourish room. Ah, oh, there wasn't nothing. Oh, there's another one of those little zone I think. Huh. Now watch this whole thing comes crashing down on me. <laughs> that would not be fun. Ah, reassure. Sage's will, remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deeper your connection with the sages. Ah. Huh. So does that mean that little dude's power will get stronger? He's the Sage of the Wind. Because that would be pretty cool. Has anybody else found the stones like that before? Zone eye charge. More zone eye charge. Can be all charged up. Could go over there too. Oh, there's a shrine over there. Like that's what we're doing. I feel like if I walk that way, that there's going to be something that I'm going to regret walking over to. Just saying. I want to make sure that I find all of the um, flowers when I come up here. Because they will help me when I go down into the depths. I still feel like I'm gonna regret walking over here. No? No regrets. Good. Oh. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, look, see, we missed a flower. You don't remember where, but I have two sages' wills. Nice. So. I don't have the other one that I used earlier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna... That one there. 
And I missed a flower, so we're gonna come over here and get it, because shiny objects. HD. <laughs> I want to make sure that that's on there straight. I feel like there's stuff that I can see. What is that? What is that? Over by whatever that is. Huh. Over this way. Is it though? That looks kind of cool. I'm trying to see what it's by so I can try to mark it. I don't have enough stamina to get to it right now. a nice ride so that this doesn't go anywhere we can get back if we need to it's gonna sit right there hours I know I probably didn't need that but I wanted to use it anyway just because Huh, <laughs> that looks like fun. I think I've been over here before. That looks familiar. Let's see what it gives us in here. <gasps> cool. I got a battery. A big wheel. A hydrant. Cool. Those are things we didn't have before. <laughs> like he wins the lottery when he does that. Uh, what else was the stuff I could put in there for that? Um, these, right? No. These. I wonder if it would give me anything for the soldier constructs. <laughs> anything different. Just a big wheel and a hydrant. So I found out depending on the area you're in, that's what changes those things when you um, find them. So just depending on whatever area you're in, that'll be different when you put the stuff in. Which is pretty cool. I have a feeling I'm going to have to use the Hydra in here. Had the Unar Shrine. Looks like there's a flower not too far from where we're at. Water makes a way. Yeah. I knew we were going to have to use hydrants.
Can I pick that up and take it with me, though? Across this? Have to jump to that one. Hold on. Oops, I dropped it. I needed that hydrant. I wonder how much I can actually walk on these before they start disappearing. Almost dropped it again. At least I'm not overheating in here. Oh, I get up there though. Holy crap. Did not realize that it was going to do that. Let's see, I know I have something to bust through this. That would suck if I got all the way into the shrine and I didn't have anything that I could bust through this with. Rusty Claymore. <sighs> Alright, come on. I did not attach you to that. So why are you on it? One hydrant here. Oh, let's see. I need to turn this one on. I need... Dabby. Come on! 
<sighs> Made it. That was weird. That would totally suck. How many do we have now? I forget. Oh, just one. One blessing to rule them all. I went with stamina the last time I got a blessing. Um, I had like eight. Where's that flower thingy at? I could see it. On the map. Oh, maybe it wasn't a flower. Maybe it was just that. There's gotta be a flower somewhere above this. Because I think it falls into the craters. That was the picture for the woodland stables. Oh, there it is, right there. So it's... Side, or that way, right? Yeah. Oh, it's down lower, okay. A little zone, I dude. Charge me up. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get down to that. Which, if I time it right, I should be able to. Oh, nope, not that. I wanted my little dude. I don't know if I've already gotten this one or not. I'm not 100% sure if I have or not. Nope, I don't think I have. But you basically come over here, tap this, and then that bottom falls through. Something like that. I'm with you. This is etched in ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. You do something with this. And the bottom falls through and it falls down into one of the chasms. Over there looks kind of fun. I know it's going to take it all the way up, but I would maybe to get up there. <coughs> oh, 
ascending sky. That's not. That looks really cool. Wasn't that where I was, though? Now she's gonna run off of my zone eye stuff. I wonder how high up this will take me. Will it, like, fall once it's not? Or will it stay? Huh. It stays. I wonder if I take those off as a fan. That would blow me across to where I want to go. Interesting. That's that place that I went to before. That's, that's rather impressive. Ooh, hey. If I go over that way, I could get to Terrytown. See it down there? Right there. Let's... Try to make that one of our missions. Let me... I think this thing is falling. Uh, let me do some stamina stuff real quick. Kinda looks like it's slowly floating over there. Another thing, stamina. Frogs, get a stamina good bass. Going to Terrytown? Yeah, I'm gonna try and go to Terrytown. I'm gonna build up some stamina stuff though, real quick. Speed boost. We do the hardy lizard and the fireproof real quick. Because the hardy lizard, you hold that with. And like a coblin horn. You say, oh boy. And that makes me worry because I don't know what Terrytown looks like now. I wonder if those are what's keeping it floating. 
I have a good enough charge. I'll explain more when you get there. They're just straight up destroyed. Why not do that one? Have I not done that one yet? No, I don't think I have. That looks like Dora Place. Maybe I should go do that tower really quick, shoot out, and then try to go to Terrytown. Oh god, there's another one of those three-headed things. I do not like those things. I know Zora's domain looks different. And if you clean up whatever the muck is in the center area of the Zora place, you can, um... actually see a statue of Sidon and Link from what it says. Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. My gills! Huh. You there, please help me. The sludge fell upon me so suddenly. I could wash it away if only I had some water. Hey, where's my hydrant? better hmm. oh I thought his face looked different but his mask is weird you huh. saved me thank you how shameful that this should happen to me the captain of the guard at Zora's domain unbelievable hmm. after the upheaval that filth suddenly began falling from the sky it sullied the waters around here and in Zora's domain everyone is at their wit's end because of it that is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself, to think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. Wow. Just thinking of it makes my scales bristle. Ugh, my gills still feel so unclean. If you had not sprayed me with water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Hmm. Please take this Zora spear as a token of my thanks. I am sorry that it is not much, but it is all I have. It is decayed like all the other weapons, but at the time of the upheaval, it is 
It decayed like all the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but while it is not usable, at least. Sure, zone I hear. Thora Spear. I guess maybe it would be better than that. Let's see. Flame of the spear. Oh, okay, I see. Gotta. some more water. Hylian <laughs> pinecone. Hey, what's that? Splash fruit. Oh, I could have just thrown a splash fruit over there. Well, well. That worked better, I think. I constantly forget that I have like 8 billion splash fruits. Into the air we go. Look at the umbilical cord look at things. <gasps> There's a shrine inside that. We're gonna have to go inside that. I'm gonna have to try and get in the hole. Just a random place to put the shrine. That's pretty cool looking though. Ah. What in the world? <laughs> now that it finally stopped spinning. God. Uh to see if we get anything different. We did get something different. A beam emitter. And a cart. Got some fun new stuff. And a shrine. Flying device. There's something stuck down there. Oh, 
Huh. Crash. Bang. Scatter. What is the significance of that? Dennis thinks falling over it too. Don't go anywhere. I think I have a rocket somewhere. Hydrate. Hold on. Gotta find my tea. I wonder what happened if I put that cart underneath of that. I guess I have to use what's available. <laughs> Doesn't look like that's gonna take it far enough, though. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that didn't work at all. <laughs> I feel like it needs to go underneath. I'm gonna try and grab one of those that's falling. Okay, 
Maybe I need to stand over here and do that. I'm ready. Dang it, I still missed it. Wasn't aiming right. Those. Falling off of that. It is the carts. Okay. I feel like I got that one. like I got it and then it just disappeared. wasn't the one I was waiting for. That one is. <sighs> Another trucker. We should try aiming higher. Get to stop. Got 
But I feel like I should do this from further back. Because maybe the further back I go, the more it'll have a chance to uh, go. No! Ah, uh, I just like got it. I'm gonna have to catch another one of those, aren't I? Nope. God. That sucked. I just have to be careful this time. I just didn't go back far enough. I'm getting it, guys. This building is... Building stuff is a little new to me. I'm not used to it. They do also have time limits on these things, though, too. You start them. <laughs> Got a time limit on how long you can stand there. <laughs> I should just try standing in the middle, eh? I mean, that kind of works. Yes, and with no one to pilot it, it smacks into the side. A blank. That one took me longer than it should have.
That kind of looks like Vamado right there. That um, eye tower that's there reminds me of Vamado. That. Something underneath. <laughs> I'm horrible at catching these things. That down there. the hole all the way up there. What happens if I do that? Is it open to down here? There's a chest down there. Treasure! Oh, another sage as well. Now we just gotta get two more. This is the area where my son said he was. There's a thing down there. Okay, I should go down there. Oh, not the bow. This. We're gonna go down there and we're gonna get that shrine. Assuming I don't get hit by all that weird gunk. That looks gross. Got a crab! A bright eyed crab. Now watch, this is another version of what I was just doing. <laughs> the power of water. Water makes things go up and down and up and down. chain. That one. Go any further. Have anything I can shock in the water. Yes, I do. Okay, that didn't shock like I thought it was going to. <laughs> it's 
got something to do with this thing here. <laughs> it's this thing. Floats. That didn't work. Okay, so that don't break. to the water level, is it? I don't think it is. Well, that didn't do anything. I need something. Well, we all float down here. Do we though? Do we? <laughs> this doesn't do. Coming with me. A magic scepter. I know what it needs to do. Can't do the water. <laughs> I know that's not what that's supposed to do. <laughs>
need to put this right where that is. This is probably like a charge or something, and it just doesn't have a charge. And then as soon as I take it off of there... How do I get across that water? Maybe if I am just careful. Time to go recharge. that there up here first that towards me put it down there we go got it Third time's a charm. Now we just need one more. Gloom spawn rumors. There are reports of animated gloom patches. I didn't get to read the rest of that. Music is creepy. Water's all tainted and dirty, and it's not all shiny like it was. Some of this water is not like the other. Vile sludge. Hey, that one's got a. That one's got horns. That's a female one of those uh, stingrays. That's cool. Roma. Everyone has been treated now, but we have used up all the splash fruit. Mm. There were more injuries than an anticipated. Please accept my apology. You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I am grateful everyone is all right. 
Now, if only we could do something about that statue. You there, are you a traveler? I am sorry that I didn't notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zora's domain is in trouble, in troubled times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame that this particular statue, so incredibly important to the Zora of the domain. We were discussing a, how we need to wash away the sludge. I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. It's Link riding slide on, or side on. The sludge, I see you managed to wash it all away. That statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It's very precious to us. Thank you so much yes. for cleaning it up. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. <laughs> That's right. Beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. <laughs> it's simply wonderful, is it not? Oh, I'd love to meet him someday. Say, you have a similar statue to the Hylian heroes. Similar eyes as well. Oh, mine. You are also Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, could you be... Uh, yeah. That was me. Are you Link, the swordsman of legend? Ahem. <clears throat> please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh, um, please accept my apology. Yes. Yes, please pardon our rudeness. I am quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I have heard mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this doma domain. I am Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiancé. She's pretty. My name is Yona. <laughs> I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. You've got really pretty eyes. I had heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? Well, I'm looking for her. To think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate. Mm. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate this area, investigate the area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, have a lovely idea. If you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain he, that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be found at Mipha Court, located at the peak of Polymus Mountain. Lady Yona, it's time. I fear we must be going now. Hmm. Forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. She's really pretty. Oh, but if it pleases you, after you meet, you've met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I am determined to be of assistance to you as best as I can, Sir Link. Interesting. I remember Sidon! Okay, hold on. We have to do something funny. Look, that's me! <laughs> We'll put it under the strong construct bow. Ugh, the sludge is so thick. Ooh. Oh, a customer. Welcome to Merit Mart. Let me tell you about our fine facilities. Our convenient general goods store, the Coral Reef, is open. Yes, even during these unusual times. Then there's our steamed workshop, the Hammerhead, which is unfortunately closed as of now. Oh, and the one reading the dusty old text in the library is left flat. She's no shopkeeper, but rather royal secretary. This is the first one you did. Oh. Ah. 
<laughs> oh. Take all your foods. <laughs> Maybe not all of them. I don't think I need some swift violets. What is this? Dirt? Alien yeah. footsteps. Link, have you already spoken with Lady Yona? She is attempting to repair your Zora armor. You know full well that the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls. It is essential if you hope to travel these parts with ease. Lady Yona is at the infirmary. I success suggest you confer with her there at once. The document appears to be relatively recent. I must examine older texts if I hope to find information on the Skyland that Prince Sidon is looking for. Huh. Interesting. The sludge, it be thick. Oh, look at the little mini Zora. Uh, I could ask Sasan, are you doing well? Uh, but what if he isn't? How about Sasan, are you alive? Uh, but that's very rude. If he isn't. <laughs> yes, Sasan, why are you bringing him up? Do you have news? Oh, I guess it's because I mentioned him, huh? Sasan is my best friend and favorite person. He's the a Hylian. He's Hylian and a traveling merchant. Pretty neat, right? We made a promise that no matter what transpired, we would always meet up here in Zora's domain on a certain day. Sasan always keeps his promises. However, this time, that day has already come and gone, and still no sight of him. He still hasn't arrived. That's why I decided to write him a letter, after all. I must do something. You must. You must do something. Hold. I hope this doesn't take the actual... Oh, crap. I almost burned him. Okay. Don't drop it. Yeah, not bad. Actually, what else gives you defense? Yeah. Super defense. What are you? Okay, yeah, you may have lost many customers because of the sludge. It does not bode well for us, and we are unsure where Sasan has gone off to. My daughter is quite attached to him, so we are all worried. He might be covered in sludge at this very moment. I her certainly hope that it's not the case. Ah, uh, oops, I must return to my work. Thank you for coming here so late. Enjoy a sleep as deep as the ocean here at the seabed inn. Will you be staying? A water bed. Let's let's go sleep in the water bed. Now watch just like a giant bubble. Sounds like he's jumping on it. This is also the first one that Emery did when he was playing. I did enjoy your blissful waterbed. Gave me three extra hearts and filled my stamina wheel. Alright. Let's see. The easiest way to get to Sidon is going to be from the Sky Tower. So... Jumping, eh? A likely story. Well, what else is he gonna do on it? It's a waterbed. Draw your bowstring while jumping from a high place to briefly slow down time so you can aim with greater accuracy. If you use dash while swimming, you can get up close to a school of fish before they swim away. You can sometimes find weapons that haven't decayed around the depths. I did find some weapons around the depths that didn't decay, which was pretty nice. Alright. So. No. 
fight on is on Polymus Mountain. Which is over this way. So if I land over there, keep going, I should be able to get there. My current stamina. Or I could make a construct, because this looks like it's got one of those things to take off the construct. Uh, with the... What you call it? Um... The airplane thingies. An old map. It's in the depths. I want to go down there right now. Undelion. Just randomly throw splash fruits all the way down there. That would be kind of funny. Maybe I need to move it forward a little more. Oops. Right. And Sidon is down this way. That's Zora's domain right there. She said that Sidon is down on Polymus Mountain. I will not get hit by whatever the heck is following me. See it. There's a shrine over there. I can get to it from here. God, I thought that was whatever was following me. There's a chest. Giant bright bloom seed. Ew. Gross. A vest. Midair perch. That's interesting. was very interesting.
That was close. I was like on the edge there. Oh, that's cool. Into the whole ball. Oh, there's a chest over there. No way back across. Ah, uh, yeah, there is. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, worth it, but not worth it at the same time. But I mean, we do get to do that fun little ride going across again. Now we have four. And we're about to meet Slide On. Look at him over there. You just look at him. I'm gorgeous.
so short. You with your duck. Got the light scale. Good to see um, you, my friend. <laughs> he says that as all that sludge comes down. <laughs> Link, it has been far too long. I received word that you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. What could have transpired? A no. giant blow of poop behind him. The simple pleasures. To think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle, and afterwards you mysteriously awoke on a sky island? Sky, could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Oh, my apologies. I have actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the source of the falling sludge. That is why I have tasked a Zora historian with investigating rune fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. As for me, I am not at liberty to leave this spot at the present. I am uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. Hmm. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from the, our water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and then there will be so there will be much pain and such suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link. Does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating I sky islands and the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian... Giato? His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It's quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information. At the present, you should be able to find... Chiato continuing his invention investigation at Toto Lake. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than a wel than welcome and appreciated. What all that nastiness? Ugh. Gross. Why are you standing in it? Oh. Rivian is fussing again. Mm. His only daughter, Dunma, is on a solo assignment. I can understand why he'd be worried. But Dunma is over 60 years old. Sure, she still has some of the mannerisms of, a ch of childhood, but she is a first-rate soldier. Oh. As a veteran soldier himself, it's simply not fitting for him to get distracted just because he's apart from his daughter. Have a good night, going to sleep, gotta be up early, catch you next time. Alright. Thanks for stopping in. Mifa Court Security Report. Day in and day out, the sludge never stops falling. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Prince Sidon, the water flowing into Domain has been kept somewhat clean. But the mountain path to Toto Lake and Dunma is completely covered in sludge. When you want to sneak over there, remember to bring lots of splash fruit. To think that my daughter was chosen to join the Ruins Investigation Group. I'll have to pay her just a quick little visit later. <gasps> oh, my apologies. I did not notice you there. If you have a question, I'll do my best to answer. Oh. I hope you didn't hear me talking to myself. Well, you see, my daughter Dunma was selected for the Ruins Investigation Team. It is quite the honor. Ah. She is protecting Chiato, the historian, over at Toto Lake all by her lonesome. She earned this honor for her part in clearing out the sludge in the domain. <laughs> she is practically a child still, not even in the triple digits yet. Look at what she has accomplished. I'm so proud. Is there anything else you would like to know? Huh? No, I'm good. Clara, protect Sidon. She will, you better. Or else. Let me to answer to. Won't like me when I'm ang angry. Not a happy.
Oh, that crab. And a frog. Ah, oh, I missed the frog, but I got the crab. Come here, froggy. Aw, oh, he went through. Yeah, I got both of them now. Got me now. Oh, there's Mifas. I was wondering if they just got rid of Mifas or if they moved it. It's pretty. I was hoping they just moved it. That would be pretty rude for them to get rid of it. I'm right past it. Alright, so. The lake I need to get to is... Right there. Pretty sure I'll be able to get over there. I got stamina like no other. Steaming piles of sludge. Oh. <sighs> I will never understand the ways of historians. Can you not conduct the investigation more cautiously? Yeah. Uh. Oh, here. I certainly hope you did not overhear me <laughs> grumbling to myself like that. She's like 60, apparently. Looks pretty good for 60. It's not as oh. it sounds, really. Giotto just keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. That makes things quite difficult for me, as it is my job to guard him. That's why I gave into a moment of grumbling. Oh. Right, do you see that opening there? Oh. Yeah, the big hole. The cliff crumbled as a result of the upheaval, and that revealed these ancient ruins. Prince Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. Yato is an historian, so it's kind of... This kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited and is completely transfixed by ruins. Huh? Oh, that dude. Oldest foo boy! This dignified presentation. Yes, the writing looks like the waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone slate was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. Stand upon the land of the sky, fish, a droplet, watery bridge. Hmm. Alas, I cannot decipher it. Ah, Link. My apologies. I was deep in thought. In any case, I have news. I have made a monumental discovery. Ah. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface, there appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I am unable to read it in its entirety. Ah. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. Alas, I fear that my fins are tied. I think I saw one of those somewhere over here. That. No, it's not that. Uh, probably under all this sludge somewhere. Yeah, right there. 
There's one. Must be like a giant nasty bog. Does that help? <gasps> What's this? The stone slab. I can hardly believe my eyes. Your eyes are hardly believing that you can see right now. Link, I must thank you. Ah. Oh, yes. Incredible. I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task and you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes. That which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. This is an extraordinary discovery. This important text can actually tell us how to journey into the sky. Hmm. hmm. Though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. Mm -hmm. As it mentions, the mark of the king. Perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorofan. I assume that he will be training from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Unless, of course, he himself is in sludge. I like down below me or something? What? Ew. I stepped in the sludge. Is a hole down there. All that nasty nastiness down there. I don't think there's really much of a point to clean it up right now because if I try to do that, then it's just going to come back. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Loose to the sky. Speaking with King Dorfin. I don't know. I think we need to go talk to either the king or we need to go talk to Sidon's wife. My voice is as good as gold. My voice is as good as gold again. I feel so much better. Just earlier, Lady Yona treated my gills. And look at me now. I can return to work. At full health once more. This sludge is really stubborn. I clearly hope our patients recover soon. Oh. Lady Yona, Sir Link is here at last. Oh, you really came. How fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about an item you entrusted to you, that you entrusted the Zora domain with repairing, your Zora armor. Hmm. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require one more thing. I just need an ancient arowana. 
I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a scale from that fish. We have not seen ancient arowanas around lately, and I have no idea where they can be found. Since they are used for making armor, Dento the blacksmith may know something about how to get one. If you find one, can you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall fix your precious item at once and return it to your care. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb the waterfalls with ease. I am certain it will prove useful to you. Please do not forget my request. Where's that king? He left the domain, and his reasoning was that we do not have enough Zora to get the job done without him. He, he is so like his son. Everyone is looking forward to his return. He's such a beloved and dependable king. The children have even gathered the throne, gathered in the throne room and are pretending to be dear King Thorfinn. How sweet. Hmm. <laughs> I thought I had one of those. Yes. I must know. You must know nothing. You will see nothing. King Dorfin, super punch and super kick. Yeah, I'm so big and strong. Oh no, I got beat. Sludge is so yucky. Ugh, you got me, big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'll have to hide in the secret spot. That spot is. Oh, well, what's up, guy? We're f full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dorfin game. We can't keep playing with you here, so take the hint and scram. Oh, yeah? Well... Ooh. Oh, they still see me. Hang on. I don't think I have anything stealthy in my food. Yeah, I don't have anything stealthy in my food right now. <laughs> Secret door. F Don't worry about us, pal. Dang. Uh... <laughs> this is a secret no matter what. It's what the grown-ups would call a, um, oh, a big responsibility. Yeah, it's our little secret. We gotta be careful to protect us so no one else figures it out. <laughs> That's right. You hear that, mister? That means you can't ask about it either. Got it? He still saw me. Shoot away. Oh, I'll get your little secret, all right. I have my ways. To that bed, I have the stamina I need. Hey, there's a shooting star. Get that, I'm busy. Ugh, that up there looks gross.
I Yeah, I can. Can I listen in on their stuff now? Like a frog. <laughs> Climb up on the ceiling. I was cleaning the throne room, and the children chewed me away. They declared that they were playing a secret game and insisted vehemently that the adults are not allowed. I did hear something interesting about their little Ooh. game, though. They're allegedly pretending to be King Dorfin. What's more, it seems like they're recreating recent events. It is ill-advised to allow them to mess around over there. As an adult, I must participate. I mean, watch over them. Question is, how do I sneak a peek? I wonder if there's somewhere I could hide. Need to get into that. I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I have failed. My king, my king, Dory Fun. Um, pretty please. Um, oh, what if you were to... What if you went to that one place to hide? Hey, come on, do it right. It didn't sound like him at all. I'm trying, but I can't play Mizu and the monster, not all by myself. I have been wondering forever. The secret spot where Dory Fun is hiding. What kind of place is it? I know, right? I asked King Dory Fun about it once. Um, he said it was a pristine, pristine sanctimony or something. Oh. Pristine sanctimony. So I guess it's a spot with clear water somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days, most of the water around the domain is all yucky because of the sludge. Mm. Oh, oh, I heard there's clean water flowing somewhere between Polymus Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance behind the waterfall, too. Mm. How cool is that? Oh. A secret entrance behind a waterfall with clean water, huh? That sounds pretty amazing. Oh. Yep. Hey, wait a minute. Mizu told us we could never ever tell anyone. Oh, uh -huh. It's fine. No one's listening. <laughs> Anyways, let's go through our game again. And this time, with feeling. <sighs> Ugh, can we play something else? Little did they know. That I was listening all along! <laughs> Ah! Mm. Ah. Ah. Hey, guy, uh, you didn't hear any of that, did you? Oh, uh, we weren't supposed to let anyone find out. Uh, let's see. All right, so in between here and Polymus Mountain, behind a waterfall. I do also still need to, hey. Very sneaky link. I'm sneaky linky. Grant me the power of which I seek. 
do it now. Got more stamina. Go and bring peace into the world. Uh, I think that's still the throne room. I need to go to the blacksmith still so I can find this fish. And I know there's that over there, but there's no way I would get to it before day breaks. Did you need something? Yeah, fish. Oh? I see, you seek an ancient arowana. In that case, I have heard whispers you seek has been spotted near Mepha's statue. Oh, okay. That must be that fish that we saw on the lake. One that was up there. Just, you know, go grab that real quick. something to shoot you guys with. I can just shoot him with a regular arrow. <laughs> Look at that. Gills! <laughs> just in case she needs more than one. I was wondering who might be, and it turns out to be none other than Link. Look, do you see how much Polymus Mountain has changed? It now enshrines a glorious statue of Mipha. She looks after the Zora from here, just like she always did. The result, the reason we can endure this sludge is because of everyone's efforts, and also thanks to her kind protection. By the way, there are some fish I've never seen before swimming at the base of this statue. Just now, I could have sworn I heard something plop into the water. Whatever it was... I wonder if it was hoping to get closer to Mifa. I think she said she only needed one. No reason to not get the rest of them, huh? Okay, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and save it here. I am going to go get something to eat for dinner. If you guys liked it, make sure you check out our socials. We have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Discord, TikTok, and I will put my Switch code and my Steam code in the link. Make sure you guys check those out. Also, make sure to check out my page for the um, recommended streamers. These guys are pretty funny to watch. Other than that, guys, thanks for joining in, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and remember, it's dangerous to game alone, so come game with me. Bye, guys.